Make a wish. <laughs> I hope you made a nice wish, Bill. I hope it comes true. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll open your presents, mate. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Who that was. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'll have a face. Oh, that'll be first. Come on, hurry up. Thanks, Ray. It's lovely. Who is this from? Who has guessed what it is? Typical. Oh, that'll be wrong, that's really lovely, honey. Or even on a jet plane. <laughs> Out the back. Will someone come? No. Are you sure? Yeah. gonna write? Yeah, Bill. I'll write. You promise? Get one for me, mate. Twice a night? To be sure, to be sure. To be sure, to be sure. <laughs> hey, Harry, we'll stir up the indigenous population when we get there, eh? Remember what the man said, Rogers. You are the special air service. You are visitors in South Vietnam. Oh, better it's over there, not here. What do you mean? That we're visitors. Yeah, I can just see my mum's face now. Mrs. Wilson from next door came in for a bit of a natter and sprayed up the joint with 7.62 tracer. <laughs> Scare the Christ out of your flying ducks, wouldn't it? Ready for his plane in five minutes. Oh, get away! I'm not ready for his plane in five minutes. Oh, he's a man's death, bloody pogo! This is the way to go to war, eh, Harry?
Well, what do you reckon, Sir Major? Been here for a week now. When well, we've got to get a chance to use this. Oh, you use it soon enough, soldier. When you do, you'll wish you hadn't. But just remember, when you do use it, shoot the Charlies, not the villagers. Well, how will we know the difference? Oh, you'll know. And to blow your stupid head off. <laughs> This is your radio dial. This is AFR Bungal, the Australian sound in Vietnam. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh! What'd you say, Harry? This rain. You can set your watch by this fucking rain. Not you again. Who are you expecting? Steve McQueen. <laughs> no such luck. What's this shit? Oh, you really excelled yourself this morning, yeah. Hey, Cookie, do you know why they call cooks fitters and turners? Oh, why? Because you fit food into pots and turn it into shit. Stop your <laughs> Be nice to me, Cookie, or I'll piss in your scrambled egg. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> take your hat off. You can't eat your hat off. <laughs> Must be for 18. Third time in a row. Wouldn't be yeah. trying to cheat your old mates now, would you, Ronnie? Who, me, mate? Unnecessary. me for four bucks. Where is it? Yeah. <laughs> there goes your Ferrari, Harry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Yes. Buy one. Sitting. Sit. Pay 21. Pay me. Four dollars. Let me do it, bud. 21, mate. Hmm. Six. Seven's 13. Eight's 21. Yep. Four is 25. <laughs> Sorry, she did. Bung, bung, eh, bud? Didn't try and get the oh, black man, bud. Yeah. No, funny little guys, bung, eh? We can hear ourselves think now. No, I'm sitting, thanks, mate. Harry, what? Shut up, listen. What? Shut up. Borders. Robert! 
Lost his gut. Walked out of his tent and went off about two feet from him. Oh, Bring shit. Bring a stretcher! Bob. Bring a stretcher! Anyone got a smoke? Six got two dead, one wounded. Roberts is dead. Now. Must have been shock. I was only at his wedding six weeks ago. And they go in the chest. Where's the other one? Over here. Torch here, mate. Dressing built. Oh. 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 He's okay. His thighs ripped open, though. Will they cut my leg off? Not unless they're pissed, they won't, mate. Okay, you get a stretcher and organise the chopper, and I'll get him ready for the pad. Come on, Bill. We'll get those clothes off you. I'll buy you a beer. Buy me ten. Fucking rain. Oh, hey, fellas, the gunner's having a blue movie show tonight at 10 o'clock. Yeah, right? two bucks a head and all the grog you can drink. Right. <laughs> I don't mind it. Now and again. Now and again. Now and again. Again, again, again. Hands down, Master. Yeah, people are the honker bronco. What can you set your watch by, Harry? This fucking Snow White. Dawson! Dawson! Hey, 
Dorsey! He writes them to himself, you know. <laughs> Clark! That's me. Westfield! I believe it's nice, Mike. Roberts! He's dead. Scott! Yep. Martin! Stop! Hey, mine's a bill. Who do you owe money to here? No one. From Australia. I think I'll reply, dear sir. I find it necessary to inform you that I am at present indisposed. And what's more, I don't give a rat's ass about your three bucks fifty. <laughs> Radio, That's right, you're on AFR, the Australian Sound in Vietnam. This is Tony Roberts with you with, you with the lunchtime program. We again apologise for the late start of the lunchtime program and also our break this morning. This was due to minor technical difficulties down here at AFR. Yeah. We've got some really great 10 Take a look at this. Jesus. They don't look good, mate. I think you got leprosy. My feet are okay. It's my crutch that's my problem. Yeah, we know. You can't leave it alone. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. Everyone else in Task Force has it. What, Roger's crutch? <laughs> <laughs> Always thought there's a bit of poof in the ball. Hey, up yours. Up there you are, I told you. Dead set queen. <laughs> hey. Is there something that can cure me, Tootsie? I'm told it helps if you piss on it. What's it do? Stink kills you. So you stop worrying. <laughs> I think I'll go and see the M.O. He won't do you much good. Why not? He's got it himself. <laughs> Anybody got any porn? God, the man's a pervert. <laughs> Page 34, man. <laughs> yeah. The Viet Cong Provincial Mobile Battalion, D-445, has been active down in the Long Green. Now, it appears they're being resupplied from the north along trails through the Mai Tau, and then down through Zwan Mok. Air photo recce south of Zwan Mok shows two likely staging areas. Here. Got that? And here. All right. Lieutenant Golonka with Patrol 3-1 confirms this as a small staging camp. Now, in outline, your task will be to reinforce him within this extended op zone and recce this larger staging camp. C and D companies from 6 RAR are 5,000 metres to the south. Now 3-1 wants the RV at this small creep junction. Known LZs are marked on the map here. Here are the grid references. Those southern LZs are probably very swampy now, but if the ones look uh, dodgy closer to your op zone, you'd better check them out. Any questions? Oh, uh, yeah. You're pretty sure that there's only VC and no NVA down there? Yeah, pretty sure. There have been no contacts reported in the past eight days, and before that it was all D-445. OK? Right. Thanks, mate. <coughs> Look, you're in with the lesson. We'll look nice and obvious scouting for the battalion. 70 odd bloody Nashos wandering around 5,000 metres behind us. Not that bad, mate. It's all the better, really. If we run into a great mob from the opposition, at least we'll have some support. Safety in numbers, you know. My ass is safety in numbers. These poor bastards don't even hear about war. Civilians in uniform. It's not their fault. Hey! Have a go at this. This is a beauty, mate. Where'd you get it? I just pieced it from the Yanks. Jesus, <laughs> if they get that close, I'm giving in. <laughs>
Okay, so what's the situation? You see this creek line here? Yeah. We suspect that there's a staging camp on this rise, about 40 or 50 yards north. About here. VC or NBA? VC. Who cares? They all want to kill you. Why not call it an airstrike? We don't know if it's occupied. I want to find out what they've got in there. We suspect it's weapons and food cash, maybe some documents too. Okay, when do you want us to move out? We'll move in 15 minutes. You leave. Brief you boys. Gotcha. Did you get him? Just wounded, I think. Break contact! Right. Uh, Let's go! Move! Cut it down! Anybody else wounded? Yeah, Jack has got a nick. Now 64 says ratchet. Dust off on the way. Tell them to hurry it up, Scott's a mess. Shit out. Wish he'd stop screaming. After the day's effort, I make it home team eight, visitors one. Yeah, make you one. How'd it go, fellas? Could have been better. Home sweet bloody home. You all right, mate? Yeah, sure. Debrief in an hour. Debrief in an hour. Yeah, that's 
not trying to run on chance. The Yanks are really good. The Yanks are really good. This soap's making my hair fall out. I wonder who makes it. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, it's, a, it's probably a leftover lot from Belson. Yeah. <laughs> Where's Isaac? Yeah. Hey, Isaac. Do you realise you're probably washing with your grandmother? <laughs> <laughs> Grandmother's in Melbourne driving a big bloody Cadillac, and she wouldn't piss on you, Harry. Oh, good one, Isaac. Oh, good. I still can't do anything with my tinea. Neither can I. Oh, Isaac. Yep. How can we get rid of our tinea? Why don't you piss on us? <laughs> Seems I've heard that somewhere before. Feels better for a little while anyway. Wonder how Scott is. Yeah. You blokes want a beer? Oh, here's the pay for Catholic. <laughs> Smokey! 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 Come, mate. Come here. Here's the pay for Catholic. 20 cents. Oh, Harry, now how many times have I bought you a beer? Now, fair go. Shut up. up. 20 cents. All right. Still a cup one hole. You would have it had air around it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was reading the other day, that more people die on the roads at home than get killed in Vietnam. Well, that's most reassuring, Harry. <laughs> How's your bird? Oh, she hasn't written. I reckon I've been given the ass. Ah, oh, well, that's life. Scott died in the chopper on the way to Vung Tau. Loss of blood. I've got to have a break. Yeah, hold on, I'll come with you. That's how it is. Hey, Harry, what are you doing? Sketching. Yeah? <coughs> Never knew you could draw. That's not bad. Where'd you learn to do that? Art school. Before I joined the army, I was a painter. As in pictures. Even had a couple of exhibitions. Hey, how come you joined the army? My wife. I left her. Oh, didn't realise. Sorry. So am I, Bill. What happened, Harry? Well, I got married with the idea of settling down and looking after the woman. I said to myself, here's one that's different, here's one I can really do the right thing by. And after about ten months of marriage, she starts ringing up, saying she's working later, an old girlfriend's dropped into town. Or... Getting in out of a couple other bikes, was she? No, I don't think so. It seems she just didn't want to be with me. Shit. Yeah, that's what I thought, Bill. Anyway, one Friday night she rings up. It was our anniversary. And says she's been invited out by some people she works with. Didn't you ask her if you'd been invited as well? Yes, but she said they weren't my sort of people. I wasn't the type that would fit in with them. She came home about three o'clock in the morning. Rotten drunk. Collapsed on the couch and went to sleep. What'd you do then, Harry? Give her a screw. I packed a suitcase and stood at the end of the couch. I prayed that she'd wake up and say that she was sorry. Anyway, she didn't. So after about an hour, I kissed her on the forehead, told her that I loved her, walked out the door, Joined the army the next day. 
And here I am. I'll be bugging. Yes, I was, well and truly. Well and truly. Boxer, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Jay Lee. Oh, 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 Greetings, <laughs> oh, saviors of mankind and the free world. And much respects to you and your charming husband, your godship. What can we do for you? Uh, uh, constable. Oh, shooting is uh, in pain. As you are all no doubt aware. We have had occasion from time to time to use one another's equipment. And so, my sons, I was wondering if any of you have come into contact at all with the prick who's pinched my pack. Your what? My pack. Where'd you see it last? The back of me tent. Well, now, Bung, it may be that we can be of some small service to you. But as you know, we are businessmen. What's the catch? I would say it would cost you one dozen cans of the finest ale for we four to get up off our asses and find your back. You sure you know where it is? 90% sure. All right, it's a deal. Where is it? Cans first. <laughs> go, Bungie! Go, mate. Go, man, go! Watch out for the left. <laughs> What's the matter? Aren't you back yet? Hey, come on, man. Look at that. Drive prop and... Good cold? Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, they're freezing. Good man. Now, Bung, come with me. Now, you see that big tree up there? Yeah. Well, in that tree is a great big bloody orangutan. And we are sure, that is, I'm sure, that not only is your pack up there with him, but every other piece of equipment we've lost over the past week or so is up there with him too. Well, I'll be buggered. Now, I don't know how we're going to get our gear away from him because I'm bloody sure I'm not going near him and I don't suppose any other bloke's going to have a bash at him either. Doing that, Well, why can't we just shoot him? Can't. The two I see knows about him and says shooting's out of the question. Why? Well, how in the Jesus what I know? I suppose it's something like the uh, bloke that shot the albatross. Anyway, said no, eh, no. Well, this cost me a dozen cans of beer. <laughs> we did our best, Bung. Here's half a dozen back. Make a five. Make four. Ah! <laughs> Thanks, fellas. Oh, by the way, uh, just in passing, who's going to give me a hand to move? Because Patrol 24 has been broken up, and I'm replacing Scott. Welcome to Patrol 22. Specialist in arson, murder, and drinking. <laughs> What's this mess? Sour crowd, smart ass. Oh, be nice, cocky, or I'll shove your head in it. <laughs> no, on second thoughts, it looks bad enough already. Sure, you serve, mate. Hey, where's Bunk? The cook finally poisoned him. <laughs> yeah. oh, right. Hey, Cookie. Yeah. Hey, yeah. This is not bad. It's almost edible. <laughs> Get nodded. <laughs> oh, my. I should have exactly $2,200 when I get home. Yeah, that's if we don't drink it for you first. <laughs> what are you going to do with your newfound wealth when you get home, Roy? I don't know. I might buy a sports car. Hard to screw in. I suppose so, yeah. Well, maybe I'll buy a block of land. Knowing our luck, they'll probably put a road right through the middle of it and give you four bob compensation. They can't do that. Too bloody right they can, mate. Has anybody got a cigarette? What do you mean? Can they take your land even if you've served overseas? Look, don't get any ideas that you're anything special just because a few nogs have fired a few shots in your direction. They can do anything they bloody will like to you. You can scream your tits off and it won't do you one ounce of bloody good. Oh, bullshit, I don't believe that. Oh, he's right, you know, they can do anything. I mean, they can shoot you if they want, and there's not a bloody thing you can do about it. You'd better start to believe that the great majority of the wonderful people back home couldn't give two stuffs whether you lived or died. 
They're sitting on their asses in front of the television right now, and I bet my balls they're a damn sight more interested in Coronation Street than they are in your bloody welfare. Maybe I'll buy the MG instead. Pep the salesman takes you down. Bastards. Shut up about this, you get more than a broken nose, Sonny. Look, pal, I was ordered to spray this area by the M.O. I don't care if Rima the bird girl told you to spray it. Just grab the bloody contraption and piss off now. now. Hey, what happened? <laughs> oh, this medic was spraying the tents and someone inside complained and the medic told him to piss off, so the bloke thumped him. Whack! Whoa! <laughs> the rot set in. What do you mean? I've seen it all before. First of all, they start to argue with one another, you know, if you piss off and get stuffed, so nobody really takes any notice. And then comes stage two, when all this camaraderie and esprit bullshit just goes. And then comes stage three, where they start to fight with one another and the morale goes. Now, once the morale goes, the sick parades start to get longer and the casualties start to mount up and all we want to do is get home and get the bloody job over and done with so we don't take any more risks. Because there's no reason to.
Nothing at all? No, just a few statues of Buddha. Now, listen, it's no use hanging around here. Contact D Company and get them to check the place out for uh, concealed caches and tunnel entrances. Or, this is Snoopy 2 2, are Same thing. Uh, there are no enemy in vicinity. Please make a search for hidden caches, any tunnels, any other signs of enemy activity. Out. Jeez, I love a passiona. like it for the Nogs had air support. Thank the sweet Jesus they haven't. I have your visual, uh, 500 metres turn north, over. Throw smoke, over. Smoke thrown, over. I see blue, over. Blue is correct, over. Blue correct. Down. service in the wrong service port. Hey! Leave Roster's posters! We on it? Yeah, you, me? Hey! Well, I'll be buggered. 
Gee, must be a rough war down here. Oh, I can just hear the news flash now. Armed Forces Radio. Da, 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 Two more were reported to be in a critical condition upon hearing that the ice for the beer hadn't arrived. <laughs> Where do we change our money? Where do we change our money, sir? Do beg my pardon. Where do we change our money, sir? That's better. You blokes think you can come down here and take over the place. Just because you've done a bit of time in the scrub. Well, you bloody well can't. What's more, you'll behave like soldiers while you're here. You understand? No bloody picnic down here, you know. Yes, sir. What unit are you blokes from? Special Air Service, sir. Ah. You blokes think you're supermen. Bloody tin heroes. Oh, get fucked. <laughs> what? I said get fucked, you great beer sodden bag of shit. Right. You're all on a charge. Well, you'd better make it murder because I'm going to knock your fucking head right off. I'm a <laughs> senior NCO, don't forget. Tough luck. Right, hold it. You lot, get out. Yes, sir. Now, what's all this about, Sir Major? You got a bit of a disagreement? Do you uh, want to proceed with it? No, let's forget it. Right. Well, in that case, you can tell me where we get our money changed. Well, Harry, me boy, where do you propose we change our money now? Thug it if I know. All right, you lot. Yes, sir. You change your money at the post office. Follow the road down past the PX. And try to stay out of trouble. You were bloody lucky this time. Thank you, sir. Hey, Harry. Harry, they got, they got these duck pancakes. See these black ducks. Yeah, baby, well, the boys say that the boss should be along here. Hey, 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 Come on, you change now. Change. No, 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 he don't know no better. Here you are, kids. Ten dollars, three to one. Man, you can get better than that. The PX. Newspaper, the asshole. Hey, come back here. Check that bastard. Stop that, kid. Oh, excuse me, I gotta Come back here. Grab that kid. Hey, you want this prick? Sure do. What? Well, the mother changed our money and gave us a roll of newspaper. That's the oldest con there is. Hey, split your 50 50 for all he's got. 50 50? Sure. Sure. Right. It's the alley. Come on, man. Come okay, on. Okay, sonny. Now we're going to teach you all about the evil of robbing poor soldiers. I wonder if he's got any sisters. Let me have a go at the little fight. Hey, he's loaded. Jesus, that's right. Look at this, will you? 500, 501, 502. Not bad. Nice work. Hey, we'll split up now. Good yeah, no, hey, hey, I've got a better idea. What? Why don't we get ourselves a room in the best hotel with the best tours in the joint and have a party? What do you say? God bless America! Hey!
You pay now, 1,000 piece short time? I've nothing but time. You clean? Well, it's no white spum. What? Doesn't matter. You like me? Yeah. You're very big. Let you say that to all the heroes. I like you. Come, we lie down. No, we stand. You mad? Probably. Hey, what you doing? Making a present. Present? Who for? Padre. Padre? Why? See, last time he came round, he asked uh, Harry and me why we never came to church. And suit mouth Harry, instead of saying we just weren't interested, said we were spending our time making something for the chapel. <laughs> See, the uh, feathers are connected to the handle. <laughs> What's it for? Well, you wait until you're feeling randy, and then you turn the handle, and the feathers do the rest. <laughs> So there you have it, you see? One fully operational wanking device. <laughs> Padre for the use of. Oh. We're going to present it to him next time he comes round. <laughs> oh, that I've got to see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, mate. You blokes feel like a game. What's in the box? Your pet spider. Your pet what? Spider. Put him from a yank on the laundry run. Give us a look. Okay. Oh, stand back. Uh, she's not what you call friendly. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ugh. What's he eat? Meat. Spiders don't eat meat. Yeah, this one does. What's his name? Oh, I've called it Gladys Moncrief. It's a girl. How oh, glad. Aha! Do I detect the unmistakable tang of ye olde tiger? Dung, you can sniff out a can of booze from six miles away. <laughs> it's just one of my many talents. Mm. Why not? There you go, Gladdy. Dollar limit, OK? Yeah, it's 20 cents minimum bet. This is the spider plane. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna deal? Whose cards we use? My cards? What are you talking about? The mark pack? Oh, there we are. Right back. Right. Hello, what's this? The Ace of Spiders. <laughs> Go ahead, come on. Yeah, you? Take your beret off. It's not formal. Take your oh. head off. Put it double your bed. 20 cents minimum there. What are you doing? Oh, Everybody home! Yeah, come in! Safety. Bring your gun bearer with you and try not to scratch the piano. <laughs> Artillery. Come on. Sit down, Max. Yeah, thanks. Would you like a beer? Oh, sure. 20 cents. Thank you. Thank you. Well, what can we do for you? Or have you just come down to see what life's like at the sewer end of the task force? <laughs> <laughs> nope. We just heard that you got, or uh, one of your guys has got a pet spider. Me? Why? Well, we got this here uh, pet scorpion back at our place, and... Uh, now we figure our scorpion can beat the shit out of your spider. So? So we want to arrange a match. Your spider against our scorpion. Fifty bucks on the outcome. How about it? What about side bets? Jointly controlled. Fifty-fifty on all unclean bets. Fair enough. Right. Yeah, fair enough. And as far as refreshments go, we got about, uh, about 30 dozen cans of Budweiser lined up. We figured seeing as our CO and 2IC are going to be in Saigon for a couple of days next week, we'd have a combined sports day and barbecue, huh? With the spider-scorpion match as the main event? What about the other pigs? Are they going to Saigon too? I'm the only one left. You're an officer? Lieutenant Clifford. Bullshit. It's no bullshit. Well? He's on the level? All right. Okay, fellas. See you and your guys about 2 o'clock next Wednesday afternoon. Hey, don't you forget to bring your spider, huh? Oh, we'll be there. And our spider will chew the ass right off your scorpion. Yeah. <laughs> and all bets off if one tries to root the other. Yeah, <laughs> the deal, man. Just <laughs> 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 One, what do you do? One, one, one. one. one.
I'm saving this for later. Buy one. Bill, the Padre's here. Come on, get up. Wake up. The Padre's here. What's wrong? We're going to make the presentation to the Padre. Where is he? Harry's bringing him over now. Oh, I've been sweating alcohol for the last six hours. Jesus, hold on. Oh. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> now, if you don't stop laughing, I'll kill you. Yeah, all right. Oh, ho, ho. You don't look at all well. Could this be the same freedom fighter we saw last night drinking half a bottle of rum while standing on his head in this very tent? Is that what happened? Mm. You were the life of the party, Super Trooper. Even let Gladys Moncrief sit on your arm. Eh? Huh? Me spider. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no. <laughs> How do that? Oh, why don't you take a look at yourself? <laughs> what a brothel. Wish it was. <laughs> How'd that happen? Well, you and Bung had a slight disagreement last night. About what? I don't know. One minute we're all sitting around playing cards, next minute you two are beating the shit out of each other. Can't remember a thing. Oh, never mind, mate. What's a smack in the eye between friends, eh? Did I win? No, mate. Okay, fellas, Padre's here. Padre, come on. On behalf of ourselves and other members of the unit present, um, we would like to offer you this small token of our esteem, which comes with our um, profound gratitude for all the wonderful things you've done uh, to make our stay in this country just a little more um, enjoyable. Padre? Boys, this is one of the nicest moments of my life. It's not easy being a padre, trying to bring God's word to angry groups of men whose sole business is fighting wars. But I would like you to understand that it's at moments like these that an outsider, and even though I've been in this man's army for over 15 years, at times I still feel an outsider, feel as though he has a place alongside you. I feel almost ashamed. In closing, I would just like to say that this is the most well-constructed wanking machine I've ever seen. Thanks, fellas. Have to go, fellas. God bless you. <laughs> Hooray for Padre! Hooray at last! Hooray for Padre! He's a wank at last! <laughs> Call the spider! Who can be called the spider? Who can be bought the spider? Bought the spider! Oh, come on! Find me! Who can be bought the spider? Come on! Who can be bought the spider? Bought the spider! Think it's tense, and I'll drop there. I'll let you in here, you drunken street edge, and be gone, or I'll have your whip. Get the crew away from the bedding pavilion! your insects. Come on oh. down. Oh.
only me, Harry. What are you doing, KJ? It's me, Burn! Three months to go. Three months to go where? Three months before you go home. All you've got to do is keep yourself alive for the next three months. And home you go. Anyone wants a mail? Any for me? Yep. One for you too, Harry. Thanks. Bad average, eh? What's that? You wouldn't credit it. In nine months, one letter. She's finally written? Yeah. She reckons we should break it off. She moved into a flat with a girlfriend. Girlfriend, my ass! I say, what's the trouble? Hey, Bill. Yes, sir. Oh, Look, uh, about an hour ago, we got a signal that his mother and girlfriend were killed in a road accident early yesterday morning. Oh, Christ. I've been keeping an eye on him, but, uh, look, make sure he doesn't do anything stupid, eh? Do you want us to pack his gear? Well, he says he doesn't want to go home. He wants to stay here. Look after him, eh? Sir? Thanks, Bill. Sir? You OK, mate? Yeah, I'm OK. Bung's not. What's up? Oh, I'll tell you later. Give us a hand to take him back to the tent. Right 
Right. Another round. Come on, Frank. You're going to shoot him. Inside. Inside. What's her trouble? That came out shooting. There were three of them. Where are the other two? Further up the hill. The battalion's got them. Prisoners. Why the performance then? What do you think it's her son? Let's go. Kidding. If this bloke doesn't get enough bangs in his ears as it is. Just another excuse to make a man clean his rifle. <laughs> Jesus, Bung, I told you the worst bloody shot in the unit. Great fuck, but Not what I've heard. <laughs> Watch this, my dears. Oh, and hey! another. Shaded that too, eh? Fucked if I know, mate. Don't you fucking make me, soldier. You're on a charge. And what charge would that be? Willful destruction of army property. Oh, that charge. And that goes for you three smart bastards too. What unit are you from? Artillery. Okay, let's have your names. Grey, Green, Brown and Yogova. What? <laughs> Grey. Green. Brown. <laughs> What's that funny, pal? Uh, something I read you say. Corporal. Okay, laughing boy. You can take notice now that I'm going to throw the book at you for. Yes, Corporal. What's your name? Hokover. Hokover. How do you spell that? O A K O V A Hokover. <laughs> right, a pistol. Who's Hokover? <laughs> is that a real bloke? <laughs> yeah. Who is he? Deputy Commander of the Task Force. <laughs> <laughs> well, who says crime doesn't pay, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Stuff's on the way. What do you reckon? I hope at all. Shock will kill him before they get him to the table. No way. Well, I'll be surprised if he does make it. His jaw's broken too. There'll be no more tap dancing for you, mate. Awful. 
What happened? Mine. What's gone? Both feet smashed jaw and cheekbones. Albatross 1 2, this is 2 2. Are you receiving me? Over. Albatross 1 2, this is 2 2. See you later, matey! these bloody things. Why? Well, for a start, the only reason you wash them is to get rid of the stink, and ten minutes after you put them back on, they smell just as rotten. Sure it's not you? If it's me, then you've caught whatever it is, too. You smell like a shit house in a heat wave. Charming. There's not much we can do about it, mate. I wonder if it'll still stink when we get out of here. Probably. <sighs> Reckon we're doing any good by being here? Not much. Why not? Because when we get home, we'll be an embarrassment to our great nation. The only bastards who'll want to know about us are the silly buggers in this man's army. Let's face it, we've got no one else. Do you mean the whole attitude of changed about the war? Yeah, and the fact that we won't win it. We may have held the fort for a while, but the commos will eventually get hold of this place. It just stands to reason. What about the people back home? Well, I suppose it'll be just like it's been after every other war. Well, how's that? Oh, a few bods will come up and pat you on the back and tell you what a great bloke you were. That'll last about a week. And then nobody will want to hear about it. What do you think they'll treat us like that? Five will get you ten. Oh, they'll make a big deal out of it. Probably even make it an election issue. And you can bet that within five years, every one of us wearing a uniform from the chief of the general staff downwards will have been sold out by some bloody, sticky-fingered politician. Well, what are we doing here, then? You're a soldier, the same as every other silly prick in this tossed-up, fucked-up, never-come-down land. And that's why you're here, because there's no-one else. And everyone's got to be somewhere. And you're here. So get used to it. I just thought you blokes might like to know the Wolfies back home are refusing to load our supply ships. That's nice of them, isn't it? Yeah, well, I suppose they reckon they're doing the right thing. Well, after all, it is a democracy. What is? Australia. Yes, if you've got enough money, it is. What's well, money got to do with it? What's money got... OK, stupid, just take a look around the unit, or better still, the task force. How many silver spoon types do you see here? None that I know of. Even the officers are pretty poor. Right, and you won't see too many either. It's the poor man, the shit shoveler with the ass out of his pants and two bob in his pocket that makes Australia. Every time trouble starts, there he is standing like a fool at the recruiting office with his hand out for a rifle, while the rich boys are at home hanging on, waiting for a commission, or their fathers to get them into a safe job. And while you're stuck overseas with some poor bastards from the other side who are just as scared as you are, shooting at you, the rich boys are at home, probably down having a bit of a slum and a chop at your bird. Sorry. I didn't mean that. What? Oh, forget it. Best time, you blokes. You're gonna eat? Might as well. Nothing else to do. We might have something there. Lance Corporal Rogers. 
Bed 14. Thanks, sister. Thanks yeah. a lot. Thanks. Two, four. Where's three? Where's three? Oh, there you go, Josh. Little back. Eight, ten, twelve. There he is. Fourteen. There he is. G'day. G'day, mate. How are you? How you looking great? How you going? Hey, g'day. Hey, oh, we brought you a couple of little, uh, little uh, presents there, mate. Just stick it on here, Yeah. Just a couple on that side. Hey, you won't need these, though. He's being fed vodka through the nose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with, with tomato juice. You've got a yes. Bloody Mary up the nose. How <laughs> 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 come I don't make you laugh? Where's it, man? Where's it? It's a sheet. It's a sheet. Well, George. Where's it? Uh, you want to write something? I was going to write something. B A L L. Balls. What's, what's the name of his balls are still there? Well, have a look. Well, have a look. Come on. Come on, you're a skipper. Have Check a look. Check it out. I can see one. We still got one. Yep, both there. Hey! 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 <laughs> You'll have to go now, thanks. Oh, that was a bit quick, wasn't it? Yeah. We don't want him tiring, do we? Sorry. All right. Fair enough. See you, mate. See you, Roy. How is he? He's pretty good, considering. They'll make him as good as new again. Ooh. Good as new, eh? What's a foot or two between mates? Twenty-four inches. Something like that. What would you like, Bung Army boy? Oh, it doesn't fear in a turkey sandwich. Settle for a rat pie and a drink of the river. Oh, make it uh, two band leaves, 5.56 and two white pops. For Christ's sake, will you get on with it? Don't interrupt me while I'm doing my shopping. Pleasure, do come again. Thank you, my man. Put that on the slate. Send the bill to Ho Chi Minh. What'd you like, Bill? Plane ticket home. Jesus, this is very bloody hairy. A man could get his ass blown off very easily.
Come on, two one. Move. Sunrise, sir. We're, we're ordered back. Truck's on the way. OK, acknowledge. Hey. Sir? What? Sunrise, congratulations on taking the bridge. My compliments to Sunray. Inform me we're moving back now. Sleepy 2-2 to Sunray. Compliments from the 2-1. All patrols withdrawing now. Time to go, Harry. Makes you wonder, doesn't it? A whole morning's work. But nothing. to Saigon in 50 minutes. Be on it. Go on, hand in your weapons as soon as possible. Thank you, Skipper. I don't believe it. I don't believe it! Somewhere in the past Could have had you know It can't last It can't last There's no pull through there, Hawks. Jesus, who cares? When I get home, I'll knit you one. Clear up. See you later, Ronnie. Look out here, mate. Have a good trip, you lucky bastard. Black or white, or shades of grey. Some we win and some we lose. But you know you can't. Hey, Cookie. Yeah. Get fucked. <laughs> Same to you, mate. Look after yourself, Cookie. You too, Harry. Take yeah. care. Good on you, Cookie. Hope your baits eventually catch someone, mate. Oh, they will. No worry. Thanks, mate. See you later. It's all moving on. Look around. It's soon. It is gone. It is gone. Somewhere. Back from Vietnam? No. Oh. There we are, sir. Thanks, sir.
Hasn't changed a bit, has it? Seems like only yesterday. What? This joint? So here we are. So here we are. Terrific. Terrific. Now who cares anyway? Busy living for today. Everything is here and now Everyone gets by somehow Tomorrow is drifting by each day And lost in yesterday Thank you.